Okay, heat advisory in effect for San Diego County through Monday night, if you can believe it. Yeah, and you have to think about the people around you, right? Mm -hmm. Hot days can be very difficult for our pets. And joining us now to talk about pet safety is communications manager from the Helen Woodward Animal Center, Monica Petrozelli. And your beautiful, beautiful <laughs> little dog, journey. well, not your dog, but <laughs> one of your dogs there, Journey. Yes. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you so much. First of all, Journey is so calm, and I, I can't, and Journey's a puppy, right? Yes, Journey is 13 weeks old. We believe she's a collie blend, and she goes up for adoption tomorrow, and she does have quite a relaxed temperament. She looks so chill. Okay, speaking of chill, Phil. Yeah, you know, <laughs> dogs also need to go outside for walks, and of course, bathroom breaks. It's very important, especially when we have these heat waves. Talk about that for a moment. Absolutely. During these heat waves, uh, it's important to realize that our pets actually have a higher internal body temperature than we do as people. We're, we're usually around 98.7, whereas they're usually around 101, 102. So even just a few degrees hotter of that internal body temperature, they're going to need more oxygen. And if they reach up to 107, uh, that, that can actually be very dangerous for our pets. That can lead to uh, heat stroke and even potentially organ failure. So we need to be very carefully, closely monitoring our pets during this heat wave and, and keeping our eye out for any signs of potential heat related illness. Okay, so, um, so taking them out is important because it is so hot a lot of us don't want to go out. So here are some of the symptoms if you want to go over them. If you do take your dog out, look out for these things. Absolutely. So of course exercise is super important for our pets, but if you do decide to go out, some of the things you'll want to look out for is that heavy panting. You'll notice uh, they could be a little lith uh, lethargic. Uh, they may be uh, panting so much that they're starting to drool and they can't even look a little wobbly or uh, just acting a little weird. So if you start to notice those symptoms in your dog, uh, you're going to want to hurry inside to some air conditioning. You're going to want to get them to cool down, sip some cool water, and maybe even apply some ice packs. And if their condition isn't seeming to improve, you're going to want to hurry over to your vet. Let's talk about cats, too, because a lot of people obviously have them as pets. What do you recommend for taking care of cats when it gets so warm out? Absolutely. So air conditioning is oh so important, but a lot of people don't have air conditioning. So if you don't, you're going to want to get a fan on them. My cat Dino right now is hanging out with a fan on him <laughs> right now. Uh, something that can also help for smaller pets that are staying inside, such as rabbits inside a cage, is to actually put a water bottle inside the cage with them so they can kind of get close to it and cool down. Uh, but cats too, yeah, they, they need to be taken care of and closely monitored for any signs of heat exhaustion. Let's talk about ice. So you said air conditioning, cool water, apply ice packs. What about just putting a cup of ice with them or near them? Yes, absolutely. That's so good to keep them hydrated and uh, it encourages them to, to drink more. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is to not put that ice water or, or metal pans near uh, sunlight or outside because that metal can actually heat up quite fast uh, and then that's a, another danger for your pet. Mm, it makes sense. You don't think about that, but most of those m most of those water bowls are that metal, and they and they increase in heat. Okay, so again, so we'll do ice. We're going to take them for walks, but short walks. And remember, their feet can burn too. Mm -hmm. That is Your, so their true. Feet, you think, oh, they have the little pads, but. Yeah, they, they can burn. So the test is if you go outside and you put your hand on the pavement for seven seconds, if it's too hot for your hand, it is absolutely going to be too hot for their paw pads. It is a risk of actual burns. So these are injuries that are, can cost some serious vet bills. So you want to be careful if you're taking them outside to check the pavement and per, if, if you can, take them onto grass. Yeah, and please do not leave your pet in the car, even with the window uh, cracked. We've done mm -hmm. these stories so many times, that. Monica. I don't know, there's still people that do that. It's a serious risk. Yes. And even if yes. you have the window okay. cracked and even if it's just going to be a few minutes, within 10 minutes, the temperature inside your car can raise exponentially fast. Yes. So even if it's 70 degrees out and we know it's hotter than 70 right now, it's, you know, very hot. Uh, it can raise within 10 to 20 minutes over 100 degrees. Right. Uh, being 80 to 100 degrees outside, it can raise to over 120 degrees mm. in your car. Okay. That's going to seriously put your pet at risk. Okay, Monica, thank you so much. And they can contact you guys about, about Journey if thank you. they would like to adopt that beautiful dog. Thank you for your time. Good job, Journey. <laughs>